Puerto Rico was divided into three main geomorphological regions. The mountainous interior, the coastal plains, and the northern karst terrain featuring haystack-shaped hills, crater-like sinkholes, and one of the largest river cave networks in the hemisphere. For centuries, the karst region was inaccessible to all but isolated farmers, who never imagined that one of science's most ambitious ventures would connect this marvelous landscape with rotating planets and distant galaxies. In the late 1950s, Bill Gordon and a group of young engineers and scientists from Cornell University dreamed of building a radio telescope on a scale so large, so precise, and so sensitive, it could pick up signals billions of miles away. For close to half a century, the Arecibo Observatory was operated by Cornell University. In 2011, operations were transferred to a consortium of institutions, SRI International, University's Space Research Association, and, for the first time, a university from Puerto Rico, Universidad Metropolitana. We have the opportunity to combine the efforts of our Metropolitan University and other major academic institutions worldwide with the government in Puerto Rico. We expect to generate new challenges for the Arecibo Observatory by sharing in the future development of astronomy and atmospheric sciences for the benefit of our Puerto Rican youth. The future will be reflected in a new planetarium to be constructed and opened within two years as a way to promote local, national, and international tourism. Set on a dramatic outcropping at the edge of the dish, the Angel Ramos Foundation Visitor Center has made the work of these scientists accessible to the general public. Through interactive exhibits and displays, visitors learn of astronomy in general and the operations and discoveries of the observatory in particular. The visitor center receives over 100,000 visitors a year, and some 30% of them are Puerto Rican school children. Through its outreach to the public and its educational projects, the observatory has given and will continue to give many the opportunity to learn about what was once comprehensible to just. And children all have fantasies about what they would like to do. They fantasize about being astronauts. Some fantasize about being engineers and scientists and doctors. And I tell them that if you have a dream, don't think it's just a dream. When you're a child and you're dreaming about things, that these things really are possible. The karst and the telescope are monuments of nature and of humanity. They became linked when a small group of engineers and scientists dared to dream. The Arecibo Observatory, where big dreams have taken us to the ionosphere, the solar system, galaxies and beyond, in our ongoing quest to understand the wonders of the universe around us.